Hey guys, Matt here. Welcome to Learn to Discern. Today, we're going to be assessing some teaching from Leon Dupree, and this is a really interesting one. So you know all those false prophecies that exist out on the internet that you probably have seen numerous of by this point? Well, did you know that those false prophecies could have been given to the people by God himself? At least that's what Leon would have you to believe. Before we get to our assessment, though, if you guys want to help promote Christian content here on YouTube, please go ahead and take a second now to subscribe to my channel and thank you in advance. Okay, guys, here we go. I want to give you four stages, the simple four stages of the making of a prophet. Between the mantle of servanthood and the mantle of leadership, stage one, humiliation. A budding prophet, if I can say it like that. A up-and-coming prophet, a prophet in training, prophetic people in training, ministers in training. Although the prophetic call and process is the hardest to go through, the budding prophet will be humiliated and embarrassed. 2 Kings chapter number 3 verse 11, listen to this. It says, And Jehoshaphat said, Is there no prophet of the Lord here? Through whom may we inquire of the Lord? Then one of the king of Israel's servants answered and said, Elisha, the son of Shaphat, is here, who poured water on the hands of Elijah. If you carry on reading, you see, it says, The word of the Lord is with him. And the king said, bring him. Elisha had to go through a stage of humiliation. You see, pouring the hands on the water of Elijah was a woman's job. In those times, women were seen, lowered as men, not in today's time. Elisha had to go through a season of embarrassment, humiliation, taking on the function of a woman and even a servant. In those days, they degraded women a lot. So test of a test will come upon prophets. You see, the Bible says that we should have no confidence in the flesh and regard no man after the flesh, but after the spirit. So this is how young prophets usually work will happen in their lives as they will they'll get a word or an accurate prophecy they'll give it to the church it's accurate and everybody begins to praise the prophet or the young prophet that's coming up and then all of a sudden that prophet gets another vision or something else that is wrong does it mean he's a fake prophet no a false prophet absolutely not is he in the process yes so <laughs> okay all right so i let that run for a little bit but you see he was looking at the story of elisha and he said, Elisha is a great example of the humiliation that you must go through if you want to become a true prophet. And he says that's stage one of the four stages to becoming a prophet, which, by the way, I already asked you, uh, what are the other three stages? These are biblical, right? So obviously you, you must know them from scripture. What are the other three stages before he says them? You don't know because they're not in the Bible. This is all completely made up. And so now he is saying, well, you have to be humiliated. And he gives the example of a young prophet, gives a prophetic word, and it's spot on, and everybody's very encouraged. But then they give a false prophetic word. And he says, does that make them a false prophet? No. Well, actually, Leon, yes, it does, because God says so. And I am inclined to believe God and not you. This is Deuteronomy chapter 18. But the prophet who presumes to speak a word in my name that I have not commanded him to speak, or who speaks in the name of other gods, that same prophet shall die. Seems like a, a, a pretty big deal. Somebody is claiming to prophesy on behalf of the Lord, but God didn't actually give him that word. Now, verse 21. And if you say in your heart, how may we know the word that the Lord has not spoken? When a prophet speaks in the name of the Lord, if the word does not come to pass or come true... That is a word that the Lord has not spoken. The prophet has spoken it presumptuously. You need not be afraid of him. So if somebody gives you a prophetic word in the name of the Lord, and it does not come to pass, pay attention, that is a word the Lord has not spoken. That person is a false prophet. And in the Old Testament theocracy of Israel, which we are no longer in, you were to put that person to death. So obviously we're not advocating for that part anymore. But the standard for whether or not somebody is a true or false prophet remains the same. And God, in his word, says, if you give a prophetic word in his name and it does not come to pass, you are a false prophet. So all of Leon's great teaching about humiliation and you have to learn and it's a process and it's okay because that doesn't make you a false prophet, except according to scripture, it absolutely does make you a prophet, a false prophet. And we are going to see that his teaching from here, it gets so bad, it is blasphemous. Okay, let's check it out. So he gets it wrong. He gets humiliated and embarrassed in front of everyone. But what is God doing? He's breaking the outer man of the prophet so that his inner man can come out. He's breaking his pride. He's breaking to make the prophet realize more and more about what he's incapable of doing anything. And he must be dependent upon God. This process I'm speaking to you took Elisha 10 years. Why will it take you three months? 
Oh, okay. So God is using your false prophets to break you of your pride so that you'll have humility. Uh, where's the scripture that says that? We just read the scripture that said, if you're giving false prophecies, you're a false prophet. And in the Old Testament theocracy of Israel, you're to be put to death. Not God is using that to break your pride. And I want you to pay attention to something else because this is something that happens regularly within the body of Christ. So Leon Dupree has talked about Elisha and he has really set Elisha forth as the example. Hey, this backs up and verifies everything that I am teaching. And he said, this process, it took Elisha 10 years, you know, his humiliation, except think about it. Did Elisha have 10 years of giving false prophecies? No. Was Elisha humiliated because he gave any false prophecy? No, he was a true prophet of God. He has no false prophecies. So this is not relatable at all. This is not parallel. He's like, well, what about Elisha? You know, he had to get humiliated. Yeah, except Elisha did not give false prophecies. And you're claiming that's the way you get humiliated is through your false prophecies. This is unbiblical. This is an unbiblical teaching that keeps false prophets from being held accountable. Because I'm sure Leon Dupree, like many others, he himself has false prophecies. But if he were to have to go by the biblical standard, the one that God has set forth, he would have to acknowledge that he's a false prophet. So he's not going to do that. Instead, he's going to twist scripture and introduce his own teachings to try to justify himself. That's very shameful. It will not. And this is where many young people just jump ship and they lose the call of God upon their lives. They miss it. They lose it completely. God will humiliate and embarrass you if you are a prophet. That is why prophets prosper. When the stage of humiliation is complete, when God feels he has humiliated and embarrassed you enough, you pass on to the next stage. We're speaking about the making of prophets here. It's a different making. It's a different molding process. If I knew what I would have been through and what I've gone through when God called me, I probably wouldn't have said yes. And with what will still happen in my life, because he will break you to a place that you will know that you have no strength in yourself. Wow. Humble Leon Dupree. Man, all those false prophecies that he gave so that God could strengthen you and you could prosper. You're a great man of God now because of all those false prophecies that you gave. No, you're just a false prophet. But it is only by the grace of God, then you step into a place where now God can use you. He will allow you to see even wrong stuff spiritually or to see a right vision, but interpret or giving it through his word wrong to be embarrassed now. Okay, that's blasphemous. All right, we'll end right there. He said God will allow you to see the wrong vision so that you can get bears. Basically, he will allow you to give a false prophetic word. That's what he said. That's what he just said. God is the one who might be causing you to give your false prophecy. Remember this verse? When a prophet speaks in the name of the Lord, if the word does not come to pass or come true, that is a word the Lord has not spoken. It didn't come from the Lord. If you give a false prophecy, it's not coming from the Lord so he can build you up. You need to repent. You are a false prophet. And this is the problem with this teaching. Guys, there is forgiveness in Christ. I know I have been harsh with some of this because it needs to be spoken out against. This is a dangerous teaching. There are people who are giving false prophecies one after the other. And because of teachings like this one from Leon Dupree, they never recognize, wait, this is not coming from God. I am biblically speaking a false prophet. Oh no, I need to repent. They're not doing that. And that would be a good thing because there is forgiveness in Christ. You can have given false prophecies. If you understand it and you repent and you turn and you trust in Christ, you absolutely can be forgiven for that. But that is not what happens because now that person just says, oh, well, God must be just trying to build me up because I'm going to prosper and I've got a great call of God on my life and it's verified because I gave a false prophetic word. This is unbiblical, and this actually encourages people to remain in sin. Friends, Leon Dupree is not a man who knows anything about the Word of God. He claims like he has these great secrets and revelation. The reason you've never heard teaching like his is because he's making it up. That's the reason why he is somebody who absolutely is to be avoided in the faith.
Okay, guys, let's do pray for Leon and everybody involved with his ministry. If you could please take a second now to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. Also, please remember that you can partner together with me financially in ministry as I have profiles on both Kofi and Patreon. I'll put links to both of them down below in the description. You can go to the website and you can give a one-time gift or you can sign up for monthly recurring donations. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, God bless.